when it comes to exporting to IFC and linking, it's a bit more tricky than doing it as if a Revit link or DWG link because it doesn't have a really Revit internal origin. It doesn't have a really project base point or survey point. So it has one single origin and it overrides some data. And it's very important to understand how it does it. In this project, I will show you exactly how to do it and what effects you will get by using different settings. Very interesting. Let's hop onto it. We have project origin which is Revit Origin 000 located here, which cannot be changed. Project Base Point is located exactly in the corner, and we have Survey Point. Very important three kind of components. So when it comes to exporting to IFC, we need to go to File, we need to go to Export, and we need to go to IFC. Before that, I want to show you one more thing, that this project is slightly at an angle. So the project node is 90 degrees, but a true node is a little tilted. So just as a reference, because this will have an effect when you export. So I'm exporting in a format of project node. I'm just going using uh, export and going IFC. And from the IFC, obviously you can use different setup formats and you can just go to modify that. And from here, I will just go geographic reference. And here's the coordinate base. And it's very interesting when you link Revit to Revit, it only has internal origin and project base point. But here we can also see survey point. Very interesting. And we have three options here, which is a survey point, project base point, internal origin. We will not cover the shared coordinates. So it's going to cover those three major items. Shared coordinates will be in a separate video because it requires a bit more in-depth understanding of the shared coordinates. So let's understand that those three, survey point, project base point, and internal origin. I already exported those three formats for this project. So you can see that where they are located and we will use it in another model and we will import it directly and see how the effects are going to be presented. So I will just close this. Actually, I can keep that as a reference. I will keep that model just as a reference. So, and then I will just open the interior model as well. So we'll just use it as a reference before I upload anything. So let's start with survey point, which is a little bit down. If you, if you take it from the corner, a little bit down and to the south and a bit to the east. So let's just go to the uh, interior model. And then from here, we will just insert link IFC and we will take the one that's survey point export and we'll just open you will notice two things. One, the building is tilted. And the second is that it's a little down to the right. So what it does is actually it takes, it just has one origin. So it doesn't have survey point, doesn't have a project base point or internal, it just has one origin, uh, just simplified. So whenever you say survey point, it just says, it just re replaces origin as a survey point. So this becomes the origin and it tilts the building as an original um, true north. Very important. So if you change this project to true north or project north, so this has no impact right now on that. Very important to understand. Let's delete this option and we will remove the link and we will go with the second option, which is project base point right in the corner of the building. Do you want to learn more? We prepared an exclusive content for you. So if you go to hub.integratebim.com, you'll unlock a world of knowledge for BIM, Revit, and similar products. But if you want to take it to the next level and have right solution for you whenever you need, so you don't waste time, consider our BIM consulting services. This way, we will be right away there for you whenever you need, help you to standardize your workflows, get the best practices for you, and help you to solve the issues on demand. Join us today. This is the right way to grow and scale your business. And we will go with the second option, which is project base point right in the corner of the building. You will see the same effect. What it will do is that it will take that project base point as a new origin and will locate the building from that point. So as if it will treat that point as a new origin. It has the same effect, but one thing, now the project is not tilted. It exports with the setting. So in this case, it was project north. 
it exports with those settings. So if I change to the node or project node, it doesn't rotate the building. And the last thing that I would like to showcase is that what happens when you do origin to origin, so it's internal origin. And if you just get open it up, you will see that it does it as if you're linking directly Revit origin to origin because it takes the origin and it takes the original location of the origin and exports the model based on that. So it everything perfectly aligns. And the true node and project node settings are not reflected as showcased here. So when you do, if you want to do that, you really need to take into consideration of linking the Revit model and try, try to take it from there or get in the survey data. You can overlap the survey data on top of the origin and export in that way as well. If you like this video and more videos like this, subscribe to our channel because there will be many more. And don't forget to turn your notification bell on.